Oleg, on Sister Gowen, go ahead. The trajectory is different um, from pre predicted uh, trajectory. I, that's what I sort of gathered. Um, so we're still standing by for impulse for burn to occur. Range is five kilometers. Um, range rate is 10.5 meters per second. Copy. Three point eight kilometer range. Uh, range rate ten decimal seven three meters per second. Copy, Oleg. Oleg, uh, we are performing retrograde uh, maneuver, um, so uh, we're going to get back on the right trajectory. We're still locked on uh, with the cores, so um, it, it should get much better, and um, we should get better alignment. Right, and um, right now uh, the camera is blurred, um, so I can barely see any parameters. Copy. And also, um, Oleg, please uh, uh, prepare uh, to start the timer as soon as the retrograde burn is complete. At the end of the uh, retrograde um, maneuver, uh, I will start the timer. This is Mission Control Houston. Russian flight controllers sending commands to Nyoka for a retrograde burn, basically a brief braking maneuver to uh, compensate for a slight perturbation in the approach angle that the module uh, was making towards the International Space Station. It still has a good uh, telemetry and good lock-on through the CORE's automated rendezvous system at this point. The timer has been started. And that retrograde burn or braking maneuver is complete. The Russian flight control team believes this, this will uh, improve uh, the approach angle by the uh, laboratory to the International Space Station. Reverse maneuver is in progress. Copy. And uh, Nyoka is currently maneuvering now to the right uh, orientation to resume its approach. Guys, um, uh, we completed the burn, and uh, 
We are back to our regularly scheduled trajectory, so uh, no worries. Oleg, uh, you can ascend the TOR activation command and start uh, the TOR test. Copy.